Just letting you know, this is only my spoiler first impressions of the episode. Check my pinned comment for a free gift related to this video. And to watch my unfiltered reactions with exclusive bonuses, join my Asha Media TV Club. The link is in the description box below. Now, here's my afterthoughts of this episode of Fringe. I can't be alone on that thought. I can't be alone on that thought. Come on. Right? You get me finally sympathetic to Walter Nate as being oblivious, and he finally has a heart to just focus on the family, this grandson he was happy about, and then, you know, the drama of, of Brandon branching off, being the rebel, instead of still the sidekick, as he is in the prime verse, you know? <laughs> That's what I thought they were going to do, a change-up. Where Brandon would have the upper hand as being now the big baddie of the Red Verse, and Walter Nate uh, would essentially kind of come out a hero in a sense, because he couldn't save his son Peter, so he could maybe save his grandson. That's that's the, along the lines I'm thinking, but they're not doing that. Instead, they plan it all along together, but planted the seeds of distrust now with. The Fringe team, Charlie and Lincoln, they're not going to keep tabs on all kinds of stuff. If Olivia's alive with her baby, baby Peter, which uh, Charlie did say that she gave him a name, but they didn't say what his name is. So I guess we'll find, I think it's Peter. I mean, what else would she name him? Right? Just to, just to also kind of commemorate the family line he's from. Peter Bishop Jr. I could see it being that. Okay, um, oh my gosh, this, oh, officially, five um, ash emojis, that's a given. I'll get that out of the way. <laughs> this was such a wonderful episode. I look forward to re-watching it as I'm editing, because that's the only time now I can rewatch episodes in a sense, as I'm editing it. That's when I rewatch the episode and I will savor those amazing moments. But the most amazing moment is the birthing scene. Simply because of how they had everything culminate to that point to make sense. From the cab driver, the virus disease thing she had, Lincoln expressing his feelings for her right there in the moment and being like the most apt person at that point in time to help her with the birthing. And even the backstory with the cabbie, because he did talk about that with our Olivia and their meetup with the full Olivia. And oh, you know it, you know it, you know it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it was so wonderful. I want to just cry how wonderful it is. I love when TV gets gets this good. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't really have much else to say because I'm still kind of emotionally shell-shocked with all of it, except for... uh. I look forward with an open mind to see Folivia un uh, uh, become a better person, make better choices as a new mom. And she has her mom with her now to guide her and support her. And right now, uh, the end part, I look forward to that mystery, which I'll, I'll try my best not to overthink it, but I, it will cross my mind throughout the day as I, go through my own motions that I'll be thinking about. So he had the, uh, Brandon was given the card, the card thing with the blood, the, baby, the baby's blood. And I'm now thinking, okay, I'll tell you right now what the wacky theory is. So, you know, and then we'll see what happens. But my wacky theory right away is like, oh, they're going to use the baby's blood and clone Peter, right? With all their tech. They're going to try to clone something because the key sentence for me that just stays is when Brandon's like, Peter is uniquely suited. We've seen it in all the episodes. He is uniquely suited to the machine. And so you do need Peter. So with the DNA, they can then try to clone him. And that's what I'm running with. I watch a lot of sci-fi stuff. Well, not, not not enough these days, to be honest. It's more like I've read a lot of sci-fi stuff that cloning seems very plausible with this show. And we haven't seen... No, we have seen cloning! We have seen cloning in season one! <laughs> so, yes, the foundation is 
there. Clone away. I hope to God I'm right for a change on this. Okay. Anyway, there you have it. That is my reaction to episode uh, 18. <laughs> it's marked as one of my top favorites of this whole show so far. I look forward to your comments. I'm getting so close to the finale. And since this is a very beloved season, I know I'm in for beyond a massive treat. I'm going to have all kinds of tissues <laughs> ready and laid out. So thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to read your comments about this episode. Any trivia you know, share, share, share. So until my reaction to episode 19, I will see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos.